Today we are going to be looking at some incredible hardcore Minecraft worlds and it really amazes me when I see some of these worlds and see exactly what people are doing in hardcore Minecraft because there are some insane builds out there. First up today we are checking out Sandiction. This is one recommended to me by you guys and this is actually one of the coolest builds I have seen. This build right here in the end is actually underneath another huge build he did in the end which was a giant planet which I thought was already super cool but now he's actually done this whole kind of end pie or biome pie here uh, as he called it and I think this is just so cool. One of my favorite end projects of all time for sure. You can see that giant planet up there which was already amazing has a replica of the end on the bottom and then now he's got this huge biome pie down here with you know a jungle biome, end biome, snow biome, stuff from the nether and so much more. He's also got a lot of other projects in his world. I highly recommend you guys go and check out his channel. All the links to the channels we are featuring today will be down in the description below so you guys can go and check them out for yourself. His videos are super entertaining and he's obviously building really cool stuff so go check him out. Next up, one of my favorite hardcore Minecraft players, and that is Switchback Mongo. Switchback Mongo has some really cool projects in his world, a super unique end dimension, one of my favorites of all time for sure, and he's also got one of the coolest ocean monument transformations out there. He decided to do this in a giant rectangle and made this beautiful garden out in front of it. It also has some farms like a guardian farm, kelp farm, and even a village trading hall in it. So a lot going on here, super useful and very pretty as well. Switchback Mongo has over 3,000 days in this world and he's definitely done a ton of projects in this time. Here he's got a little industrial area, not exactly little, he's got a ton going on, mob farm and he even decided to build a creeper farm in here as well with a very cool creeper face that actually spits these out to the collection point of these creepers. I think that is just such a cool small feature that makes something simple like a creeper farm just look so much cooler. And underneath this right here where his farms are is actually where his base is as well. This big beautiful tons of colors, tons of wildlife base just looks great. This is actually how he dug out or how he drained the ocean monument as well. He built a redstone contraption for it, which I personally think is genius rather than actually doing all the work to get in with sponges. He decided to just make a redstone contraption that goes back and forth and clears the water. Never built that machine before, don't know if it's the easiest way, but to me it looks super simple and way better than having to place all that sand and these sponges. I think this transformation though is absolutely beautiful. I love this garden and also the little arches that he put throughout it. Definitely one of my favorites just because it just looks so beautiful. Would definitely be something that I would love to have in my own world. Next up, actually a regular viewer of our channel, Vapo, has one of the craziest hardcore worlds I've seen as well. He's over a thousand days into this world and this is one of the projects he is working on currently. He of course has this massive platform built up which you'll see later on is huge and he's building a castle on top of it. So far I'm absolutely loving the look of this castle, mix of some stone bricks, deep slate bricks, things like that. Also got some different colors with some warped wood in here. I think this build just looks so cool. I love the mixture of the deep slate and stone and also that warped wood. It's even something I use a lot in my own world just because I love that color blue, especially mixed with either deep slate or stone. There are a ton of projects on this world though that are so cool. This one right here is one of my favorites. Looks just insane, but there's uh, so much more going on. Definitely go and check out his channel so you can see all the work he's doing. This right here is the platform he's actually building that castle on. That alone must have taken so long and as you can see it actually took 40 days to build that in Minecraft which is a long time to spend building a platform so he's definitely putting in a lot of work in all these builds. Next up we featured him recently but his hardcore world did just come to an end so we wanted to give him another feature. Fwip does a lot of work on this hardcore world but unfortunately died in his most recent episode. He's already started a brand new season so definitely go and check that out as well. This right here was the swamp build he did recently but he actually ended up dying as he was working on an expansion to his castle. 
Flip had so much going on in his world though. This beautiful castle, he had a giant village. Also that boat out there actually marks where his copper is underneath, where it's all aging so he could actually use it later on. But his world was so cool and it's sad to see it come to an end since I know he had a lot of other projects he wanted to work on in it. But now he has a 1.18 hardcore Minecraft world that he just started working on, so definitely go and check that out. Give him some love. Uh, if you hadn't actually seen that he died yet, sorry for the little spoiler, but that video has been up for a little bit already. And speaking of hardcore worlds that have come to an end, next up we are checking out Mythical Sausage, who we also featured recently, but he decided to wrap up this hardcore world. He didn't actually die, he's still alive in it, he can still go back and build things in it if he wanted to, but he decided it was time to wrap up this world and move on and start a new world in 1.18 as well. I think everyone really just wants to work with the new terrain in 1.18, which of course is going to be insanely cool seeing all the amazing builds that they can do in it. I know a lot of people have actually started Hardcore Series since the release of 1.18, so we should even get some new worlds from Flip, Mythical Sausage, Gemini Tay, and so many more who are starting up in this new update. Mythical Sausage though had such a cool hardcore world, so many different parts of it, all these islands were insanely cool, I really love this small little Aztec pyramid. He also had this Subnautica themed stronghold, which I thought was just a, such a great idea. He was actually featured in one of our stronghold videos we did pretty recently. I think this looks so cool though, having the Ender Portal be in this Subnautica themed base. Definitely go show some love to his new Hardcore series though, hopefully we can feature that world again very soon once he starts doing some insane builds in that as well. Next up we are checking out Chapman who's got 1200 days in his Hardcore world and some pretty cool builds in this one as well. The build he was working on most recently in his 1200 day video was this giant skull which he had completed before, but he did some more detail work on the outside and then started work on the interior as well. This thing is made out of bone blocks and also a ton of quartz. You can see he's also got a lot of gold in it, which he got mostly from his gold farm, which is one of the projects he worked on. But the interior of this is actually one of the coolest interiors I've seen. Absolutely loved it. He used a lot of end crystals, which I think is super scary to use in hardcore Minecraft, especially if you're just putting them around like your storage system and stuff. But he's actually doing a lot on the inside of this. Not only does he have a storage room, but he's also got an area for enchanting and even an area to put some of his more rare mobs. He's got a lot of other projects in this world though. He's brought the end and the nether into the overworld, which I think were really cool. He's even got a zoo, as you can see right in the middle here, with a bunch of different mobs from Minecraft. I absolutely love this hardcore world, especially the inside of the skull. Definitely go and check him out. Last but definitely not least today, we are checking out Random Walter Minecraft RWMC, who has such an insane world already. If you hadn't seen his plain survival world before, that was one of the best mega bases of all time for sure, and now he's working on a hardcore world and doing some incredible stuff. He's already put a thousand hours into this world over, and he's done some huge things so far in preparation for his huge mega bases, which he is planning to build over the next few years. This right here is his huge perimeter, which he's planning on putting his mega base inside. He had to go and use some TNT dupers to take out this whole thing. I think it's about 1300 meters wide, which is absolutely huge. And you can see the amount of hours he's put into his world down on the little counter below. Uh, this right here happened around 437 hour period. And this right here is his huge automatic storage system, which he decided to build directly around his end portal. I think this is actually a genius idea. I can't wait to see what he decides to build around this as well, because he is such a great builder as well as a technical Minecraft player. This right here is the giant perimeter and he also built these giant circles as well or rather dug out these giant circles in order to put some mob farms and to also put his mega base. He shared some plans for his mega base so if you want to see that go and check out his 1000 hour video where you can see all his plans of what he wants to do in this world. This right here is his mega gold farm. All these blocks that he's putting up right now are obsidian and will form the nether portals in order to get all the piglins to spawn to get both gold and tons and tons of XP. This is also the storage system for it which is huge, hundreds of chests in order to take in all the gold from this farm. 
That is all that we have for you guys today though. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to drop a like on it. And if you want to check out any of these people, all the links will be down in the description below so you guys can go and check out all these amazing hardcore worlds for yourself. Other than that, hit the subscribe button and I will see you all in the next video.